Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update iTunes on Mac OS. So pretty straightforward tutorial and I wanted to show you guys how to manually do it so you can get the best and greatest up-to-date versions of iTunes for your device. Now I know there is a version of iTunes for Windows but today we're focusing in on the users for Mac. We're going to start by actually going up to the Apple icon in the top left corner of our screen and left click on it and then you're going to left click on the App Store third option down so left click on that so now in this new window that appears there probably will be something that says updates are available for your computer left click on this more button right next to the update button down here so left click on more this will break it down by the updates that are available for your machine. You're going to be interested in the one that says iTunes, if there are any. If you're not seeing any here, that means your iTunes version is already up to date. But we can see that there is an iTunes 12.5.5 at the time of this recording available for May. So we can also see a breakdown of any new features that might have been released. We can see that this is just a minor app and performance improvement update. So it doesn't really give us a lot of detail. If there was, it probably would be listed underneath. But regardless, we're going to left click on this update button right here on the right side. And we can see that it is going to begin installing this update. It's going to calculate how large this update will be. Typically, they can be upwards of 125 to 150 megabytes from what I have seen. So just be patient here. It's just currently calculating the space size. Okay, so the update has finished installing, and again, we can see the description of how it was installed, and it will give us a rundown of updates installed in the past 30 days. It just happens to be that I have only updated iTunes, so that's why iTunes is showing up here. But that's definitely another way to reference to make sure that the update was installed successfully. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.